Hi guys and welcome to today's video on annuities, a continuation of the Further Maths course. Oh, and it gets, oh, anyway, too excited. Uh, it's really good to see you. What on earth is annuity? Uh, well, actually, believe it or not, it is like a piggy bank that you just put in the bank and ultimately just keep taking and give me more and more and more and more until it runs out. Now, before I get into the very exciting stuff, hi guys, I'm Darren, otherwise known as Masker, and it's really good to see you here. Hopefully you're having an awesome day, and this video is going to be really, really helpful to you, me, or to you. If you can do me a favour, over in the corner, there is a red arrow pointing to do a hickey to uh, get you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Would be awesome if you could. I'm aiming to get to 1,000 subscribers, and your help would be greatly appreciated, and two of your friends, if you could as well. But, all right, enough of that stuff. Very needy. All right, what on earth is an annuity? Well, basically, this whole section, this whole course has been dealing with financial maths. It's been dealing with recursion. It's been dealing with, you know, reducing balance loans and interest only loans. And then we get to this thing called annuities. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I really, really would recommend you doing so. Uh, not because I need the views, although that won't go amiss. It's because it builds on the use of a CAS calculator. Uh, and if you're not aware or know how to use your CAS calculator, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. Yes, you can do a lot of this by pencil and paper but it makes life more complicated. So um, annuities are basically like huge piggy banks. And a brilliant example is actually over here, uh, the Australian pension system. Now, if you're watching this, you probably even, even haven't thought about getting a pension. What is a pension? It's like a massive piggy bank. Every year, every month you pay into this piggy bank and it effectively sort of helps you for your retirement. Now, sadly, the things over here, uh, or the pension scheme over here, is very, very different from what I'm used to in the United Kingdom. Now, luckily, I've got a bit of a pension in the UK. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means when I retire, if I retire, and hopefully I live to when I retire, then what's going to happen is some sort of payments I've made in from my salary in the UK will be used to keep paying me out until I die, literally until I die. Over here in Australia, it doesn't actually work that way. While I'm taking some of my salary and paying it into a bank account and it's, you know, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the government is sort of investing it for me and I'm getting more and more money. When I retire, what happens is they start paying me out of that piggy bank. Now, whereas in the United Kingdom, they just keep paying and paying and paying and paying. Here, they stop paying as soon as your money runs out. So it's like a huge savings account that you're effectively getting an allowance from. And every month they take away that allowance and they keep doing that until you run out of money. And that is very much what an annuity is. I'm going to put some money in. It's going to get interest. That's good. If I put it into a bank account, it's going to get some interest. They're going to pay me some money every single month. But I'm then going to take money out every month as well. And so it's probable that the money I get in interest isn't going to be as much as the money I take out. And eventually the money's going to run out. Now, now, we love recurrent relations for annuities. We know how to do these things, you know. There are opportunities or maybe times where you're in a sort of test or whatever else going to have to do this by pencil and paper. Or because it's further mass, you're going to do it on your calculator. Either way, it's good to understand the theory behind it. So, with annuities, we need to know certain things for our recurrent relationship. Now, remember, a recurrent relationship is how do I go from term to term to term? First thing we need to know is the rate of interest per compounding period. So if we put money into a bank, we want to know how much interest I'm going to get. The payment received, now obviously each month they're going to give me some money. We want to know how much money we're going to get and the principal we invested. How much I put into the bank first before I started taking it out. And so our recurrence relationship is given by this formula here. V0 equals the principal and to get to my next term, remember V of N plus 1, is equal to my previous term or my current term, depending on where you sit, times some value R minus D. Now, the reason it's minus is because the bank is giving me money every single month, or I'm taking money every single month. So we're subtracting that away from my principal. What is this value of R? Well, as is normal, we're looking at a multiplier for our rate of interest. And the value of R is given by 1 plus little r, which is the interest rate from the bank, all over 100. So what's the best way to actually do, uh, work this out? Let's do an example extracted from the Cambridge Further textbook. Now, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it. But it does continue over on mathsguru.com. 
Masquero.com. Yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there. It's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think. It is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.